Thing what attracted me to Poet was that having a, a platform with all these different functions that can then be adapted to different technologies. So for example, if, if you're in silicon photonics, that's what you're doing, right? So that's the technology that you have to use. But at Poet, we have a platform that can be adapted to work with silicon photonics for indium phosphide, let's say, for all these different material sets. So we're not, we're kind of agnostic and it's basically a, a platform where we can integrate on. It was exciting to me is rather than getting stuck in one technology and trying to solve all the problems in one different way, we now have a platform that we can look at a lot of flexibility in terms of how we solve the customer problem. I also had been working with ways of doing very precise alignment of lasers on these types of uh, platforms so that you can cost reduce. You know, the, the traditional way of doing uh, photonics is with very fine alignments of multiple components. And that takes time, it takes equipment, uh, and so on. So we we have developed basically a way to eliminate a lot of the time-consuming and costly components that normally are used, like lenses. Some poets come up with a, a technology that can eliminate a lot of the process steps, and that helps scale. I mean, that's the key. So that, that, that's what one of the, the biggest reasons that I joined Poet, is I saw the potential. You know, there's always some skepticism with any new technology, but uh, when I was able to see firsthand that, wow, I can take a laser and couple this amount of light into a waveguide using this high precision assembly approach, I was convinced. I've been in this optics industry for a long time. While several companies are focused on developing latest and greatest optical components, Poet is focused on an integration platform for these components. It is clear in the industry that as the speeds increase and newer applications demand lower power and lower cost, an integration platform like the Poet Optical Interposer becomes critical. Several of my former colleagues with decades of experience in the optical industry decided to join Poet when they learned about the innovative way Poet's Optical Interposer resolves the challenges of integration and scale that the industry has faced forever. This is an opportunity for them to be part of the team to impact the industry and build a legacy. In my experience of establishing and leading teams in multiple locations globally, I have learned that alignment of goals and objectives, accountability and transparency to colleagues, customers, and partners, and incentivizing the teams correctly where they can share in the rewards of success, provides the spirit of one team while being in different locations. One success story, just as a as one among many, is the, the transfer of this technology over to our China joint venture. Given the fact that this happened during COVID and, uh, you know, travel was limited and they were challenged in terms of setting up equipment for something completely new that they have never seen before, right? And to support that activity out of, with our Singapore facility that's that's run by James Lee and then the China facility that's run by Mo and here, you know, combining to transfer this technology over to them and, you know, to get that success has been fantastic. So the, the, we've hired a lot of people here with quite a bit of experience. So what, what made them excited is so that they can try to uh, apply their skill sets to something completely new. I assist with correspondence, purchasing, bookkeeping, as well as shipping and receiving. I also assist in strategizing new processes to increase productivity. I enjoy working for Poet as there is always something new to learn. 
my area of expertise is business, not engineering. So what they do here is truly fascinating to me. We're right at the uh, state of the art. These are very, very small, low loss uh, devices that are really, I mean, the lasers are flip chip placed on, which is a passive alignment technique, which by itself is, is incredible. And it's uh, the waveguides, um, in these are not silicon, they are silica, so the loss is very, very small. And uh, so the light from the laser is passively coupled into a waveguide, and then it emerges from the other end, where we can take it to anywhere else you like. That's why we call it an optical engine. So you can take this light anywhere you like, and so in this particular case that we have set up here, we're taking it to the external modulator. Uh, in certain cases, what we do, we directly modulate our lasers. So you could also do that. And uh, the advantage here, of course, again, is the flip chip attachment that we do. The team in Singapore is just relentless in its effort to improve our interposer technology. Uh, the teams in Allentown and Sengen, you know, converting it into optical engines and validating their performance, working with customers to try and understand, you know, their requirements. Um, you know, working with component suppliers. The team has done remarkable things. 